everyone. Welcome to Circle Time with Miss Stephanie. I hope you're doing well. Let's go over our circle time rules. Our gimme five. Ears are listening, eyes are looking, mouth is quiet, hands are down, and everyone sitting. All right. I guess we can close this drawer out. Let's sing our hello song. So wait with me and sing along too if you can. Willoughby, wallaby, woo. We'll say hello to you. Willoughby, wallaby, everyone. We'll say hello to everyone. Hi, everyone. Let's do a little finger play. Wiggle your fingers and wake them up. Shake your hands. We're going to sing the finger family song. All right, so let's start off with Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Mommy finger, mommy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Brother finger, brother finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? This one's really tricky. Sister finger, sister finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Baby finger, baby finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? That's fun. It's pretty tricky trying to isolate all these fingers and stick them out one at a time. I think this one is the trickiest. Okay, let's do a quick movement break. And I thought we would do some fun, different moves. So we'll dance, we'll hop, We'll skip, and we will twirl, and then we'll dance again. Okay, let's start off by dancing. Let's see your best dance moves. Are you ready? Let's dance. Dance, dance, dance. I don't know if these are my best dance moves, but that's what I got today. All right, let's hop. Everybody, let's hop. Two feet together, and we'll hop, hop, hop. And then let's skip. Can you show me that you're skipping? One foot up, or one leg up. Let's do it again. Skip, skip, skip. It's fun to move our body. And then we're going to twirl. So put your arms out, and let's twirl around. And the other way, twirl. And one more dance party. Let's dance, dance. Maybe a little spin in our dance. Okay, that's enough for today. Next, we're going to read our book. And today we're going to say, we're going to read Happy Valentine's Day Mouse by Laura Numeroff and Felicia Bond. All right. I'm going to come a little bit closer. Look at this big heart here. Let's see all the different hearts we can find in the book. Happy Valentine's Day, Mouse. Mouse is making valentines for his friends. He wants each one to be just right. Can you spot a heart in the picture? It's a really small one. There it is. He loves Pig because she's a good dancer. Oh, just like me. Is there any hearts in here? Two, three, four. Mouse loves Moose because he's such a good artist. Any hearts in this picture? I don't think so. Looks like they're having a good time. Looks really messy. Cat, or sorry, he loves Cat because he's so strong. Can you spot the hearts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And dog, because he's always happy to see his friends. Look at all the hearts over here. He turned all these little hearts into animals. Can you see those? Or are they too small? He loves Bunny because she's the best at hide and seek. I see a heart hiding too. And can you spot Bunny hiding? Look really close. Bunny is really good at hide and seek. 
right here, there's a bunny. You can see the little bunny ears. And Fox, even though she's not. Oh, there's Fox. And I can see a heart too. Who's at the door? Happy Valentine's Day, Mouse. All oh, Mouse's friends. And look at all of the little hearts on the cookie. The end. Okay, now it's time to sing our song and then we'll do an activity. And our song today is, I did forget right now, what was our song today? Hmm. Let me take a quick peek. Today we are going to sing, if you're happy and you know it. Are you ready? <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Hope you're doing the actions. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! I'm happy today. It's a good day. Okay, next we're going to do our activity. So come on over here and come check it out. We're going to do some ice cube painting. So for this, you can use an ice tray or a small container. Just like I have some small little heart containers here. And you fill them with paint and water and you put them in the freezer and you make little painting ice cubes. And mine have melted a little bit in here, so I'm not sure how good they're gonna work right at this moment, but let's give it a try. So look at these little ice cubes here and let's try to do some painting with them. Let's see how it works. Oh, it's really light, but I can see a little bit of the blue. That's pretty cool. So maybe you, when you do it, you can put lots of paint in, more paint than water, and then you'll have some really good ones because these are a little bit tricky to see. Or maybe even just paint and hardly any water. See how the red one looks. Oh yeah, that's cool. They're cold. And when you make them, you could put little popsicle sticks in so that you don't have to touch the ice cube if you don't want to. Okay, see you next time. Bye.